Let's have a nice wee chat, shall we? That Lorelai's hype thing Jade gave us, uh, sh gave ye should let us travel to places we've not been before. But we see before we seek out pastures new, perhaps we should investigate this giant lump of gold that's blocking the way to Sniffleheim. Yeah, I've already been there though. Cannot be easy for them up there, being cut off from the world. Let's head north and see what's what. Alright, but being aboard this ship reminds me of the night I fled from Drundrasil. After Rab found me, we traveled to Zwardrus before setting sail for Heliodor. Okay. I was just a helpless child back then, but things are different now. This time I will not flee. I will stand and fight. Like a badass! You know what, man? Staring out at the sea like this makes me wonder if it really matters who I used to be. Maybe I should just start a new life from scratch. Whoa, relax, relax, I was just kidding. Yeah, do not even joke about that, my dude. Alright, so which one of these things will help me get to Sniffleheim? Way over there. Well, luckily I have my wondrous powers back. There we go, and off we go, onto a merry little boating expedition. Actually, here's a question. Is there any... No, there's no beams of light that can help me get closer from where I currently am. That's a bit of a bummer. I'm not going to lie to you. Although, Sniffleheim is good. We'll be able to actually get over to... Arboria! Thank you. Why do I always mess up the names of these places? There's just so many names, and they're all things I don't understand, and... There's like about a bazillion different towns. How are you supposed to remember all of them? I can remember Cobblestone, because those are words. Octagonia, Aboria, Zandwurst, Zutenbachen, Rickenracken, like and other such nonsense words. I know not! Alright, just keep it going, keep it going. Always head by the, uh, for lack of a better term, the whatchama calls it? Casa de Slime, if you will. They always got them metal slimes over there. That'll boost Jade back up. Alright, I already know about the giant lump of gold. I need to go around such a thing. And I'm going to be left wondering just how on earth that I'll be able to even do anything. Like, how are we gonna get rid of that exactly? I mean, I'll be able to leave, but no one else will, which is just unfortunate. And then teleporting happens. Oh wait, we don't even have our harp player. How are we supposed to play a harp without a harp player? Oh lord. Once again, he returneth to be a colossal pain in the tuchus. <laughs> Who dares to enter my realm? The people that got away from you the first time. So, we meet again. You were lucky to slip the hook when last we met. Really, we are, because considering how big this boat is and how big you are, really, it says a lot about you that you just somehow managed to fail. You will not be so fortunate this time. In the name of my lord and master, I shall send your broken bodies to the bottom of the ocean. I'm down for killing you, finally. The ultimate move? Your, your hand. The power of the luminary. Yeah, this might work. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't actually have this last time. This will help. It's called electricity, dude. You're a giant fish. Well, how about that? Or 14, however it takes to, you know, stop this. Right, you, 
Once ready, believe you can defeat the mighty Elytherin, you will shake without rest. Yeah, I know you think that. There we go, now the music's starting. Let's end this noise. Fornatica! And all the mermaids you done messed up! Just not cool, my dude. Not cool! I wonder if you count as a dragon. Maybe a little. Who knows? And I'm gonna... Okay, so what is this, anyway? Unleash the user's inner demon for a few turns. And I guess it makes her stronger? Attack and various other attributes. Oh, and less susceptible. Okay, okay. So it's just basically an all-in-all -all general buff. Fine by me. Alright, then... Give you some of that. Woof! There we go. And then maybe give yourself some of that... Uh, sap! Alright. Dude, it's so gigantic, it's having a hard time seeing if I'm actually doing anything. Oh, boy. Oh, you would do that. No, don't rock the boat! Who does that? Alright, fine. I'm stronger. You're weaker. Let's see what happens. That's what I was hoping to see. Hell to the yeah. Heartclaw! Oh, yep. Yeah. She may be behind in levels, but she's just as awesome as she's ever been. I suppose the all-in-all -all purpose buff is is helping with that. And rah, I slap you with my big fishy hand. And now I make you all the slow. All right. That's cool and everything, but I still do a thousand points of damage a pop! Plus, there is the fact that I can just do this. Ta-da! What do you have to say about that, Jiggity Jack? Nothing, I bet! Okay, and just hit him with the pearly gates, because you tried it before and it didn't work, so let's do it this time. There you go. It's a blistering ball of fire! Why do you keep hitting Jade with that? Mailstorm! Rude. Okay, once again with the hard claw! Okay. And pretty sure she's gonna switch back. So, but just to make sure, in case I don't end him now, we'll definitely end him later. Okay, now give him the old multi-heal! He should probably be falling down by after this next hit. Anyway, I'd say it was nice to know ya, but it wasn't. Bye! One for the good guys. Things are looking up. There we go. Now we just need about, you know, ten more of those. All right, well, the seas have just become significantly more friendly. But how? How could the mighty Elizabeth be defeated? The exact same way everything else that I've beaten has gotten defeated. I hit you with my sword really hard! Wait! What? The lightning you summoned! What about it? You're only just now putting that together. Well, it's a shame you're gonna die. Oh. Well, I was about to say it was pretty great that he was about to die before he could actually tell anybody. That's unfortunate. Oh. Apparently he just had this. Weird. Now I'm just gonna give the orbs to a bunch of dudes. <laughs> we showed you, you oversized sea slug. Think you're a match for the luminary. Think again, pal. Right. We better get a move on. 
We need to get Mordig in a good hiding before any more beasties like that one come a-growling. Eh, he can set him up, we'll knock him down. First, we need to find out how we can hurt him. He still doesn't know you're alive, but it's only a matter of time. Best get a move on, eh? So wait, that giant scream to the sky didn't reach him? <laughs> okay. Whatever. Fine by me! Awarded for recovering the power of the luminary and defeating that stupid giant fish man. Now, to Sniffleheim! Where the Himes of Sniffles will take place! The Himes will get so dang sniffly! You don't even know, man! No man's land! And there we go! Howdy doody there! Ifin, you'd be so kind! Well, I mean, honestly, it's not that I'm not, you know, interested in seeing the place again. It's just, there's kind of got more interesting things to the east that I'm more, you know, into seeing. I remember Benigo, no? Ben, 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 no? Ben, no? Whatever your name was. I remember him. What's going on? Like crazy. Well, that's not good, but also it's good in the sense that you might be getting your memory back. The fall of Yggdrasil has changed everything. It's more than likely Sniffleheim didn't escape unscathed. Just about nothing did. Which is why I think we'd better check in on Queen Frizabel before we head off to Arborea. That all right with you? I mean, I'd rather go to Arborea and then right. Sniffleheim, but... We're away to the castle to see the Queen. While we're at it, why don't you lot take a look around town and make sure everything's okay? <sighs> Yo, Eric. Matter, Eric. You look like you've seen a ghost, lad. You okay, dude? It's nothing. I'm fine. You want us to take a look around town, right? I I'm all over it. Uh, and second thoughts, you're coming with us. You're in no fit state to be wandering around on your own. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a burden. Oh, it is still really weird hearing you talk like that. Come on now, laddie. This isn't like you. Chin up, eh? A stroll to the castle will do you the power of good. That will be the hope, I guess. Alright. Although, al alternatively, up, I do want to hear what he has to say about it. The fall of Yggdrasil turned everything upside down. I just hope Queen Frizabel and the rest of the Sniffleimers are still safe. Come on, laddie, let's go and check on Her Majesty. <sighs> I don't know, my dude, but I like where it's going. It implies that you'll get your brainscape back, which I am all for. Yo, Jade! It's too quiet. I thought the harbor seemed quiet, but this is something else entirely. Looks like all the villagers have shut themselves up inside their houses and locked the doors. I wonder what they're so scared of. Yeah, I'm gonna keep looking around town. You and Rab should head to the castle. Queen Frisbell will be more forthcoming than her subjects. Well, that's the hope, at least. Ah, you are the traveler who came here once before, are you not? I'm glad to see you well. Her Majesty has been very concerned for your safety. You must go inside and see her. Truth be told, our kingdom is currently beset by a terrible plague. If you could let the queen know that you are unharmed, it would be one less thing for her to worry about. Wow, this town just constantly has new and inventive things that are just always horribly happening. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good at all, let me tell you. Alright. Yo, Queenie Ding! I need to talk to you! And I guess your witch friend that you decided to have. Oh, who's not here? That could be bad. I see, I see you still have the greatest bodyguards. Good, good. Now what's this about a plague? Cheer up, your majesty. It might never happen. What's got you looking so glum? What might never happen? Hi. <laughs> Lord Rab, and your friends too. I'm so happy to see you safe and well. Well, we're still missing a couple. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. 
A lot's happened since last we met. And that was only like, I don't even know, like in game maybe about a week ago? In oh, wait, no, three months. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. But we survived. Some were not so lucky. Okay, so I know about the first two things. What the hell's gold fever? What's that now? Gold fever? Is there something going on around these parts we should know about? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. A strange disease started to spread across Sniffleheim. I mean, the only gold fever I know of is people mindlessly in the pursuit of it. It affects people, animals, even plants. Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. Okay, that's a problem. I get that the story of Midas probably never happened in this universe, but I'd call it the Midas Plague. To gold? We don't know what causes it, or how to cure it, so every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. So... it affects plants. Are you telling me that's where that giant golden boulder came from? I tried to send for help, but every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. Man, this place is just... is the worst place to live! My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness to try to find a cure. But in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. For her own safety, I was forced to lock her away in the dungeons. You don't say. I have tried to tell my subjects she's innocent, but they simply will not listen. They are blinded by fear. This awful disease has turned my kingdom upside down. And you're already still trying to heal off all the freezer burn. There, there, your majesty. Then he looks a crest for. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. I'll assume it's just some sort of evil magic spell. Just gotta find what cast it, beat it up, and we're good. Oh, thank you. You are always so very kind to me. That's just what we do. I will let everybody in the city know that you are here to help, and that they must help you in turn. Take care, dear friends. And, uh, try not to turn into gold, mm. if possible. Gold. I guess ordinarily I'd say maybe your thief senses are tingling, but I feel like that would be a really weird reason for you to get your memory back. So I'm guessing there might be something more to it. We shall see! And off we go once again to see the things we want to see. Where are these golden people? So, do they turn to solid gold, or are they encased in gold? Because if they turn to solid gold, we could probably reverse it and bring them back to normal. If they're encased in it, then they're probably suffocating and dying. I'm gonna go with the curse thing, you know, full solid in, instead of the, you know, encasement. Is everything all right? Nah, people are turning into golden statues. Mm, not exactly. You see... D watch out for anybody who was, um... I guess who's sneezing. Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute, he asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold, too. Thank you, ominous old woman that's always somehow around in situations like this. Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. 
When we went to visit the queen, Eric deliberately stayed out of the town. Dude, is this where you're from? You... you know me? Oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. You're the... And now she's going to turn to gold. Cool. We could have used the help. Don't touch her! Better, dear. Uh, are you okay? Well, black and purple smoke is billowing out of her, so I'm gonna say probably not, Silvando! It's... It's... Got me... Wow, even her clothes. I take it this is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. I'd say we should probably like pick her up and put her somewhere else, but I don't know if we're strong enough. Gold's heavy, yo. Dude, what's wrong? Eric, honey, are you okay? Uh, Tell me where it hurts. His brain. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. <laughs> but you got nothing to say about the lady behind you, apparently. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates. And I will tell you what I know of his past. That would be nice. Granted, I wish I would be getting it from him when he wanted to tell us, but I guess maybe this is the only way. Ah, poor old lady. You know, it's times like this I remember the words of Roranor Zoro. Zoro. Yeah. If you're going to be turning into a statue, at least strike a cool pose before you go. Ah, that's just unfortunate. All right, onwards, onwards, onwards. Where specifically is this church? Uh, la, 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 da, 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 I'm not seeing anything resembling a church. What? Head to the church by the main gate. Uh, oh, well, I'm used to there being an icon or something. Oi. All right. Oh, hello. For as long as I can remember, it has been my daily ritual to take a stroll around the town and see the sights of Sniffleheim. But since the fever struck, I have had to stop. Hm. Our great city was beautiful enough without being filled with those gaudy golden statues. Those used to be people, dude. A little bit of respect and decency, please. Uh, there you are. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. Wow. I was here five years ago? Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders who once roamed the northern seas would often stop here to buy supplies or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. Okay. And when they came, Eric, you came with them. You're a Viking? Uh, I'm a Viking? I guess that would explain what's up with your accent. I never really wanted to bring it up, but I could never figure out what it was. So that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty-handed. You were born here, a Viking. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them took them in and raised them as their own. You have a sister? Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Oh, how fun. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. 
Well, damn, now I can kind of understand why he didn't really feel like talking about it. Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! I need to be alone for a while. Well, I mean, it's progress. Uh, forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Uh, please, uh, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. You got it. That's sort of the thing when it comes to, like, amnesia and junk. Well, I mean, first of all, I don't know. Amnesia doesn't really work the same way it does in fiction. I mean, basically, the long and short of it is, in order to have amnesia, you're suffering from brain damage. And I'm guessing that might be him over there. And generally, shaking off brain damage? Not quite so easy as it looks. And as if I have to tell you, I'm just going to let you know right here and now. Yeah, no, definitely do not hit them on the head again. That, that would not work. My dude, my bro, best bro, you okay? Huh? Hey, I'm sorry I ran off like that. It's just... <coughs> wow, that lady screamed so loudly it came out as an accent. Huh. Or at least a different font. Well, the ominous music sting implies this is bad. And we have solid gold monsters. Is that... That ship, if the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. Yeah, seems to be the reason, yeah. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. To the harbor I shall go! Yeah. <laughs> wow! Golden skeletons! Moving around has gotta be difficult. I know they're evil, but I'm kind of impressed. Sniveling Snivelheimers! It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Kildegar! All your gold belongs to us! For a fraction of a second, I thought he was about to say all your gold are belong to us. Come on, you clattering curs. Let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. How are their eyes gold? I always thought those were like, I don't know, some kind of weird spiritual light. But they actually just have tiny, tiny eyeballs inside their gigantic eye sockets. Talk about weird! And, alright, cool. They're already inside. Eh, I'm not even going the right way. Ah! Why must this place be such a weird shape? Does it look like I appreciate such things? And here's just a quick, quick question. Oh, okay, Eric is no longer here. But I guess we really are on the quest to get his brain back. So that's good! I'm guessing that's another one of those monsters powered by orbs. Alright, gonna need you to not. Monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be there doing? Seems like a safe bet. What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiga, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels. I really like whenever they announce they're part of that group. It just tells me, yeah, you really gotta go kill this thing. Cease your boastful blustering, fiend. You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation. Then it is you who shall answer to us. <laughs> you think you can stop us, feeble flesh bags? You're not even worth stealing. You are aware that gold, while heavy, 
is in fact an extraordinarily soft and frail metal. The boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys. Just saying. Alright, well, let's see how this works out. Huh, Gildanauts! Just three of them, though. Alright. Well, let's start things off the only way I know how. Oh, wow, you're still standing. I mean, you're, you're close to dying, but respect! Okay. Um... It's been a long time since we've done this, so I'm gonna just pre fire! You can melt gold! It's a thing you can do. Ow. 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 Awesome. Thank you for that. Alright, fine. Drop an iceberg on him! One down! Tie ho! Hmm. Oh, that's not even the right thing. Okay, I mean, I mean, I guess it got the job done. Donk! Guess I can't complain when it pulls things off. Oh, sweet. That's a lot of skill points. I like having skill points. It's very good. And just as I suspected, easy to kill. Okay, apparently there were more of them. Their companions are fleeing. After them. Use your legs! Kick them! Over there. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa, what the hell? Eric! They've got Eric! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! How? Why? Never mind why. They must be stopped. Quickly. <laughs> That's weird. We were too slow. Oh, Eric. Why the hell they take him? We are getting that boy back and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. And if he doesn't, ooh, he's going to get a roughing up. The up will be so rough you won't even know what to do. Okay. Onwards, onwards, where the priest go? Where the priest go? Where the priest go? Where the priest go? Are you inside your church again? Okay, he's apparently gone completely and totally missing. Oh no, no, he's 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 where Eric was. How dare you? You just stood by and let this happen. I know clerics can kick ass. I've seen them do it on a multitude of situations, especially against undead monsters. That's like the entire thing you're good at. Why you do this? I'm sorry. The creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Did you even try? Please, do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. Yeah, but Eric... When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. Now well, that would definitely explain why the town is so quiet. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? I guess. But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. I'm guessing he has a connection. And yet... They headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. Did they? Wait a moment. The way they spoke. The ship they sailed in. Could they be... The Vikings? You know, I had the very same thought. Thank you, random old man. Yes. I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains, but it seems they are them. But how? I mean, I've seen people be turned into monsters by magic, so... Hmm. Those gold-hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. 
We know them very well indeed. Either they were abducted and turned into monsters, or they willingly sold their souls for the purpose of getting more money. The way they moved, acted, talked. The fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. They used to have a hideout near here, in a little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. And then that's where we're going. Okay. Uh, so... Oh, I gotta get on the boat again. Alright, my mistake. How was I to know? Why did I... Why did he... We looked over there. Alright, well, first things first. We kind of need to recharge and what have you. Also, forge items. I've gotten better at my job. Can I make anything even remotely kind of cool? Did I ever learn how to make... Wow, I don't even have any recipes for claw weapons. Sheesh! Whips. Spears. Heavy wands. Normal wands. Boomerang. Nivs. Or kniffies. Yep, that's a big pile of absolute nothing. Fun times. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. A big fat nothing here. Still got nothing in. Nope. Still got nothing. Nada nada. Queen's Row would probably be nice. Can't get that, though. Alright, last check. Rings. I can make a ring of truth. Don't really want to, but I could. Can't make those. And can't make any of this stuff. Alright, good, good times. Good times. Jade, what do you think? Those golden monsters have a lot to answer for. They've stolen the Sniffleheimian's possessions, the bodies of the people who were struck by ground fl bleh, struck down by gold fever, and now they've taken Eric. It seems they're working for someone. There's something called Gildiga, and I still don't understand what the point of it all is. I mean, it could just be money. I mean, why not? Certainly seems like a possibility. Anyway, I really needed this campsite <laughs> on my Zoom map. And if nothing else, we also did need to, you know, get our MP back and stuff. Dave! Man the boats! How do we all fit on this little dinghy? I find that hard to believe. Okay, so where exactly is this place? Mostly magnificently lovely and was adored by all. When he finally passed away, he did so surrounded by family and fellow villagers. Aw. That's still pretty sad. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to find lots of heartwarming in, in a death. I mean, they try. Alright. Oh. Maybe they mean over here. <laughs> well, alright, that was easy to get to. 